Okay, so I'll start um, with my talk now, and my talk starts with a game. And for playing this game, I will need a volunteer uh, who will just open his or her microphone and tell me what to do. So please, I need one volunteer from the audience. The first who is just shouting in the microphone, me, 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 uh, will be my player. It's really quite simple. You just have to decide, uh, just you have to just say left or right in the game. So don't be shy. Who wants to use? Yes? I would do it, Martin. That's great. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. So I'll change to the game now. I hope that works. Um, you should see um, the game now. Is that right? Uh, I do see something that looks like something Twitter like. Okay. So you, you see Get Started. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, congratulations, you are now the new head of social media of our center, of the Center for Applied Game Studies at the Danube University. And you also have to look after our Twitter channel at Applied Games. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the game is quite simple. You just have to decide which tweets you send to your community and which tweet, uh, tweet, uh, tweets you will uh, discard. Okay? So just uh, say left or right or tweet or discard. For the first yeah. cut, you need to decide uh, whether you say Twitter is my life now or let's tweet. Yeah, left. Okay. So yeah, there, there is also a Facebook and Instagram page. So Twitter can't be just your life. So, But for now, it's Twitter. So choose your tweets wisely. Okay. Hashtag play experience. George Kalpurzis will tell us more about user experience in educational games at our Educational Game Design Conference. Would you like to tweet that or discard it? Uh, I've got a major question to that. Um, should I sh somehow say it's, it's a good tweet or...? Not just if you want to tweet it or not. Well, why not? Yes, yeah, tweet. Okay, we'll tweet that. Okay. Hashtag blending realities. Today, Katharina Tillmans will give us insights into learning with mixed reality gaming. Tweet. Okay. Hashtag game dev teacher. What's the deal with pedagogical content knowledge in serious games production? Jonas Linderoth will enlighten us today at our conference. Sounds good to me. Tweet. We'll tweet that as well. And as you as you probably already noticed here at the top of the screen, you have four resources, credibility, popularity, conscience, and influence. And because you tweeted so great uh, tweets already, uh, your popularity increased and your influence increased. The influence uh, inside, uh, within uh, your uh, community, um, especially in the game studies community. So, and I have to say, I knew the first three tweets um, uh, were the tweets about the conference. The next tweets, I don't know, uh, they're, the, uh, they are quite random. I don't know which tweet will come next. Okay, hashtag game creator. Try out the CDG for a game creator and create games about creating games. Tweet. Tweet that. Good. Hashtag cyber. What's the thing with blockchain in games? At Applied Games is going to find out. Tweet. Tweet it. Well, then, Grims. Tweet. Sun is shining. <laughs> okay, we tweet that. <laughs> oh, so, you're, you're so popular. Like, credibility is done up. Yeah. <laughs> tweet, tweet, tweet. Trust that we are game showers, scholars. Yeah. Okay, popularity went up as well. Hashtag Minecraft. You can visit your campus and even defend your thesis in Minecraft. No, discard. That won't discard. work. Discard. You, you, we don't tweet that. So actually, our center, we really built the, the Danube University camps in Minecraft. That was uh, the job from our summer internist the last two years. Um, and you can visit the, the Danube University, but you, you can't actually defend your thesis in Minecraft. Um, but maybe soon, who knows? 
Um, hashtag breaking news. Did you know that the Dona Uni was invented in the Middle Ages? Discard. <laughs> okay. And as you can see, each time you discard a tweet, you don't tweet for a while, so your popularity um, decreases. So the problem is I, that I didn't tweet for a while, and thus I'm not so popular anymore. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Unfortunately, yes. Um, hashtag students everywhere. We have now 8,000 students at Dona Uni. Join the game and be number 8,001. Tweet. Okay. Your credibility went down a little bit because you can't be a pro exactly 8,001, but it was quite a good tweet. And anyway, oh. because we have, we have 8,000 students approximately. Hashtag best GBL platform. Want to use games in class? Visit the one and only GPL platform toolkit-gpl.com and find ideas. Uh, I have to double check whether it exists beforehand. That <laughs> works. Tweet. <laughs> Very well. Yeah, that's our GPL platform. Okay. Hashtag innovation. Did you know that scientists at Applied Games invented the train gear? This card. Okay, we didn't really invent it. Hashtag correlation for the win. We finally found out the truth about the relationship between violence and games. I would probably discard that. Yeah. Okay. One question: How can my if I don't tweet something? How can my credibility go up? because nobody would ever know that I didn't tweet it. Yeah, probably it should have been a little bit better for your credibility, but um, <laughs> your conscience, maybe not yeah. your credibility, your conscience. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, off, have to, I have to spoil that the goal of your game is to um, increase your popularity and your influence to hundreds, then you will win. If oh. one, um, one uh, value goes down to zero, you will lose. Yeah, I take the offer. You take the offer. Buy 100 followers, get 100 yeah, followers. Good, you. Good. You just bought 200 followers. Hey. Congratulations. Hashtag wild, wild wine. You can get yeah, really good wine for just one euro, 20 cents in cans. Hopefully not. Discard. <laughs> you get really good wine for one euro, 20 cents. Really? Yes. At all your hiring places. Hashtag red pill or blue pill. At Danube University, it is always the blue pill. Lifelong learning for the win. Wasn't the blue pill staying in the matrix? <laughs> I actually don't. I, I think I would uh, discard that. Okay. It was the blue pill because uh, the Danube University's logo and everything, this uh, CI is blue. Yeah, but nonetheless, I think it's... Like he, uh, Neo, uh, he offers Neo the red pill for leaving uh, the safe matrix versus the blue pill yeah. uh, for staying there. So I, I wouldn't, uh, as a scientist, I wouldn't say take the blue one. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, tweet, 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 tweet. Okay, we will tweet a cute uh, a cat picture, a random cute cat. Yeah. Works always, cat always cat, works. Yeah. So po your popularity increased for 20, I think. Uh, but your influence went down a little bit because it's not very useful for the game studies community. Um, 60 people cannot lie. We were able to convince 33.33 .33 of Viennese car lovers to sell their vehicle. Who is we? Uh, tweet? We, our center. We ah, them. okay. So with a game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you yeah. want yeah. to do what you Yeah, then tweet. I, I thought it was probably a bit off topic, but yeah. Yeah, the will tweet it. So actually, we didn't do that, of course, but uh, what? That, was, that was really good for your popularity. Your conscience went down a little bit, of course, because you lied again to your Twitter users. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't me. <laughs> Hashtag true nerd. You read a thousand books in Skyrim. Yeah, Why not reading books about Skyrim? Okay, you tweet that. That was a good tweet. So maybe you, you actually could win the game. Seek help. So your child wants to start <laughs> a professional esports career. Better seek help at, at Fight Games. You discard that? Yes, certainly. Okay. 
Why did my popularity go down? Because That's you didn't strange. tweet for a while. Hashtag not a dream. It's not a dream. The Center for Applied Game Studies is real. Yes, tweet. Yeah, it's really real. So your credibility went up. Level up with a Master of Arts at game Applied Games. Tweet. Yes, you can study a couple of master's programs at our university and our center. So just need to increase our influence a little bit more. Hungry for more, continue with our PhD program, how to upgrade your impact factor in media sciences. No, I, I don't think I have time for this, so discard. Would have been good, I think, for your influence. It's not true, yeah. but it would have been good. Well, I think I probably can play this the whole evening and we won't have any time for the conference if I choose <laughs> the correct uh, or incorrect things. There are not that many cards left. Yeah, tweet, tweet, tweet. Okay, we'll tweet that. And then we say we have 10,000 participants yeah, in our tweet. conference. We'll tweet probably that Probably well. for our conscience. Yeah. So, and then maybe we say the club yeah, market stock will never yeah. deplete. Oh, and now our credibility. I didn't look about that. So okay. game is over. You are as credible as President Trump. Yay! <laughs> but thanks for playing. You're welcome. So, thanks for having me. And I continue with the presentation now. Okay, so uh, that game we played was created uh, with um, a game creator that we developed uh, in the scope of our Erasmus Plus project, Create Digital Games for Education. Uh, the project started in September 2017 and uh, will continue until August 2020. And our main objectives uh, were, of course, uh, the iterative uh, development of a game creator for education and use. And we also developed uh, pilot games for the topic fake news and STEM education. Of course, the game we played here was uh, about fake news. Um, Here's a little overview about our goals that we had in mind with creating uh, this uh, game creator. Um, it is intended to be used uh, for teachers, uh, by teachers and students um, with no programming skills. Uh, it should be easy to use um, as easily as uh, some quiz tools. We know, know uh, some um, yeah, um, very simple um, tools uh, that uh, teachers are um, using already in educational settings. Um, but we wanted to provide a certain educational framework and uh, presets of game mechanics. Um, it should have been, uh, should be uh, usable and flexible for the use for different teaching subjects. And um, uh, as you probably uh, experienced um, while playing, um, what do players do actually? So the game mechanics focus on decisions and their effects on resources. So uh, within the game design process, you can um, create your cards. You can say which um, resources are available in the game. Uh, what's the name of the resources? What's the start value, the end value? And what happens uh, when you choose uh, the one or the other answer? So players uh, ask themselves, uh, what decisions do I make and what impact do my decisions have on the res existing resources? So in this way, we want to, um, uh, uh, we want to, want to stimulate a reflective confrontation um, about uh, the topic presented in the game. So uh, in this context, uh, unlike, unlike uh, a classic quiz, for example, uh, it's not necessarily a matter of answering a question right or wrong. Uh, rather, it is about dealing with the effects of the decisions and being aware that your actions in the game have consequences. And that's actually something we do a lot with, while playing games in general. And we wanted in this project uh, to take up this potential and make it available to teachers and students in a few and easily accessible way. And there are, of course, a lot of possibilities for creating games with this simple mechanism. Um, so basically, uh, you can create uh, games for any teaching topic. Um, but I think the great, 
greatest potential lies uh, in the mediation of more complex topics where the understanding of systems and context is central. For instance, media competence, ethics, society, environmental education. Uh, all the topics where it's not uh, exactly a matter of right or wrong, where, where you can be a little bit more in the gray area as well. And uh, the games are quite good to stimulate discussions, um, to be a starting point or a, deepen a deepening of a topic area. Um, and of course, you can also present a topic in an unusually, unusual and engaging way, like I presented uh, now the Center for Applied Game Studies within this game. Of course, you can use the game um, uh, that are created with the game creator for testing knowledge. You can do quiz style games, but I wouldn't recommend to just use the game creator for creating quizzes. Um, a great po uh, educational potential also lies in the game design project projects uh, with uh, the game creator. So students can work alone or in groups on games on different topics. And in the process of the game uh, of the game development, students also deal uh, with decisions um, and have to make choices. And they deal with questions like, what is the role of the player? What, uh, from which perspective should the decision be made? What resources are represented in the game? What actions can be taken? What decisions are to be made by the players and how should the decisions affect the available resources? And in this way, students as game designers need and gain a deep understanding of a topic in order to create a game. So here's a little overview of about our project activities started with the best practice analysis and needs analysis. And then of course, uh, the concept, the prototyping phase within an iterative design process. And we had some testing groups uh, from students, uh, teachers, um, as well as uh, other experts. And uh, we also made a, had a game jam um, for um, testing the pilot games and creating, creating pilot games. And of course, um, now we are in the evaluation and reporting phase. And if you want to try out our game creator, please feel free to try it out at vasagamescom slash cdg4e. I have to note it's still the beta version of uh, the game creator. So we will uh, improve it a little bit more until August and hopefully also work on it uh, further and improve it um, and polish it a uh, little bit more. Uh, also after the, the project ended. And if you want to try out uh, the conference game, uh, just go to the search function and go to the category media literacy and then you find it under the name uh, AGS Marketing Hero 2. And uh, don't be aware that you find a couple of uh, games uh, in uh, the creator um, that will be deleted, so a couple of test entries, but uh, so it's still uh, the beta version. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want to visit our real Twitter channel, of course, uh, follow us at Applied Games or visit our website. And uh, I'm now at the end of our talk, uh, of my talk, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the conference. And if you have any questions, just feel free uh, to put that in the chat. Maybe you already did that. Uh, I will close my presentation now to look at the chat. So thank you. <laughs>